Okay, so this particular radio is a little bit hard to take apart. It's very fast, but so first you got to take out this paddle. And it has two connectors in the back. But the problem, the clips are very tight. So this is the clip location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got nine clips. They're very tight to come out. So this is, it comes out from here. So you got up on top two big clips over here on the bottom three clips and on the side and you gotta probably start from over here from this side has a little cave in use the plastic tool to kind of come out and then this comes out it's nothing hard it takes this ready to take apart takes minutes but just careful with this panel so pry the clips take it out disconnect the connectors all right then you got screws, two screws here, two screws here, and this panel just comes out. But it also has clips all around, but they're not as tight. This fascia clips are very, very tight. The fascia clips are super tight. They're very hard to come out, all right? Then you got four screws here. This is the screws locations. One, two, three, four, you'll see silver screws. They come out, and then you got connectors on each side that disconnect here. So this is the connectors, they disconnect. And then you got the four screws to take out the screen. And that's it. The radio removal is only like a minute, but just the clips are so tight, you're gonna have to work with them. Okay, so after you remove the screws, pull out the screen and disconnect it. Same as... And just the connectors come out, all right? So the screen is out and that's it. Next, remove these two screws over here. Okay, so after you remove the two screws, remove the cap of the shifter over here, remove the screw so the radio can come out. There are two screws on the sides here. On each side there's a screw. You remove those screws and the radio just pulls out. That's it. Easy as that. The whole radio screen removed 10 minutes. So after you get everything removed, you need to connect the harnesses supply to these two connectors behind the radio. You're going to connect to these two plugs. Connect the radio back in place. Don't forget to reconnect all the plugs. And you're going to proceed to testing of all the components you installed. Okay, so after you install everything, we're going to test a few things. In this car, we have factory rear view camera left and right blind spot camera, forward facing camera, wireless mirroring. You can also connect CarPlay. We're going to show you CarPlay with the joystick and then we're going to show you CarPlay with touchscreen. CarPlay with touchscreen is just different price but you'll be able to see all the features. So this is the Maserati screen. In the back of the steering wheel, in the middle you have three buttons. On the left hand side, back of the steering wheel, three buttons. You press and hold the middle button for three seconds, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. You hear a beep, and the first thing you're going to see is the phone mirroring. So with the phone mirroring, you can do everything that you want. So basically, we can do ways. And ways directions could be heard while listening to any other source. So it's going to give you direction when to make a turn, but you can continue to listen to AM, FM, CD, Pandora, or any other rep. I'm just showing a few basic things. You got YouTube video. Right there, this is YouTube video. Amazing Nature 1080p. This is a YouTube video. Okay, after YouTube video, we're gonna show you. And if you hear the noise in the background, that's the quality leather of Maserati while I'm moving, so don't mind that. But this is Google Maps, and again, even with Google Maps, you're able to pretty much hear directions while driving so anything on the screen can be mirrored to the car screen and now when you're in that mode with up and down buttons in the back of the steering wheel, you can change modes left right front rear camera all right now side cameras front camera rear camera so you get all the inputs now same thing when you are driving right if you're just watching ways you put left camera left camera right turn signal right camera when you're just starting the car in any mode the reverse camera has priority so you can put the car in reverse and the reverse camera is going to appear on the screen 
and from there in drive front camera is going to work up to 10 miles an hour while driving you can force on any camera that you want to drive and watch the front camera there you go so we can do any of those cameras thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed what you've seen if you cannot find this part on our website or anywhere else email us or call us we're here to help seven days a week thank you very much